consequence didn't notice so there was one unintended consequence didn't notice before which was uh we got rid of the spacing on our titles and that got this stuck on there so we'll fix this in this video as well uh, but the main focus will be here like i mentioned getting it to pop on over to this side at certain sizes now, the way i'm going to do it now the reason i'm saying it's not a best practice video as much as a exploration video is because if you had a really long title this would cause some problems <laughs> um there's the potential for old overlapping but i just want to show you something that we haven't looked at yet it's something that i try and avoid when i can but i want to show it to you anyway and i think it is fun for the layout purposes on this one and something that's worth exploring because while you try and avoid it, it's good to know that it is a possibility. And that is negative margins. So I'm going to go all the way down to my layout area. Da, 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 da. And we're going to go all the way down until we find my articles. There we go. And I'm going to create a new media query because we're going to be dealing with these two pretty much. Uh, so at media, as far as the size of where do I create this media query for? Don't create media queries based on the size of certain devices or set devices, because then you can't always do things that you want to do or those devices, you know, people will make too many media queries because they're trying to match certain devices when they don't need one. Or in this case, I'm trying to really base it on my layout. Um, I'm sort of just guessing at the size. We're going to tweak it a little bit as we go. So I'm going to do 500 pixels for now. And let's see if, you know, see how it goes from there. So inside my media query, what I want to do is select my article recent main, and I'm going to give this a margin top of negative, I don't know, let's start with negative one M and just see how that affects things. Uh, so you can see they, they sort of gotten a little closer together. Let's just try changing that maybe to negative two. And you can start seeing these are starting to overlap and we can bring that maybe up to a whole negative three and they're starting to line up how we want them to. I'm going to switch that to a 2.5 because I think it's going to be bang on um, how I want. The top of the text is sort of lining up. Now, as I mentioned, this can create text overlap. So it's probably not a best practice overall here. Um, yeah, so this is my longest one. So I'm going to base it on this title. But what would happen if you had a really long title? It would break this whole layout. So I'm going to show you how we can do it with a negative margin. So you know, if I bring this up really big, you can see it's pulling it up on top of other things. And it's one of the problems with negative margins, but it is important to know you can have a negative margin because sometimes it does come into use and it is useful to have. So that is perfect. Now, the other thing I'm going to do in this media query is do my article info and say that as a text align to the right. And there we go. We have the layout that I wanted where we have those going like that. Now, the problem is, where's the media query kicking in? Where's 550 pixels? So we're going to shrink and it's really, really close. <laughs> but on this one, it's looking perfect. So, you know, it's one of those ones where you would have to judge it by eye a little bit. Um, I'm going to pump it up to 550 just because I don't want those to get so close to each other. So it gives us this small little range where we have two columns. And then where it pops over back to the big layout where we're going to have to change what that looks like anyway. So that is how we can go and do something like that with a little bit of hackery to give ourselves this fake two column look based on the way our markup is. But again, make sure you keep this really, really simple because it's keeping cooking simple. But if this was how to keep your cooking simple, all of a sudden I'm a little worried we have overlap and it's causing problems. So while negative margins can be fun for creating cool layouts or cool effects sometimes, and sometimes you want overlapping content, it's always possible you want two things to sort of overlap. And there's other ways of doing it with positioning as well, which we're going to explore later. Um, but just when you use the negative margin, be very, very aware that this is a possibility. So I think what I'm going to do is while we've explored it, while we've seen it, if you want to sort of rebuild this on your own at one point and keep it in your code, because I do think it looks really nice uh, with how I've set this up, it's just not something we can do in a responsible way. So we've looked at how to do it, but now we're just going to take it all off because I think it's going to cause more problems in the long run. And it's really important that you keep your code as functional as possible and that it can accommodate for all these situations. So if you're ever putting together a demo site, make sure you don't only use short text. It's really like if you're doing a business card template, don't use a really short name. Kevin Powell is not a good name to use. You want to get a really, really long name on the template to make sure that it can work with super long names and that it's not running into issues. So the same thing here. We, you want to test short titles and long titles to make sure everything will work with your code.